A peculiar day it was when Bonnie, Chicks, Freddy, and Foxy found themselves aboard a spaceship. The vast expanse of the cosmos stretched out before them, a symphony of stars and galaxies in the infinite orchestra of the universe. A journey like no other had begun, with our quirky quartet at the helm of a space-bound adventure. In the labyrinthine corridors of the spaceship, Foxy found himself in the computer room, a technological marvel filled with blinking lights and humming machinery. His eyes fell upon a dusty old book, a relic of a bygone era. As he flipped through the pages the room was filled with a quiet sense of tranquility, the soft rustle of paper against the steady hum of the computers. Suddenly the tranquility was shattered, the computer screen flickered and changed, casting an eerie glow across the room. An image materialized on the screen, a figure all too familiar, it was Springtrap, his menacing figure looming ominously on the screen. His voice echoed through the room, a chilling whisper in the silence, I always come back. His words hung in the air, a specter of unease that clung to the room. Despite the unsettling encounter, Foxy kept his findings to himself. Perhaps it was the thrill of the unknown, or maybe the fear of causing panic among his friends. Whatever the reason, he chose silence. The quartet resumed their exploration of the spaceship, their footsteps echoing in the steel corridors, their hearts filled with a mix of excitement and trepidation. The spaceship hummed to life, and they found themselves on the moon, the lunar surface stretching out before them, a barren landscape bathed in the ethereal glow of the universe. The earth hung in the sky, a blue marble in the sea of stars. The journey had just begun, and little did they know, it was about to take an unexpected turn. But Foxy said nothing of this strange encounter, and soon, they found themselves on the lunar surface. Their first steps on the moon were abruptly interrupted by an alien ship's arrival. As if carved from the darkest shadows of the universe, an alien vessel broke the serene tranquility of the lunar landscape. It hovered ominously, its silhouette stark against the backdrop of the cosmos, and then, in a burst of eerie light, a figure emerged from the ship. It was Springtrap, his visage as chilling as the void of space itself. The group, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and Foxy, stood frozen in disbelief. Their gazes were drawn to Springtrap like moths to a flame. His iconic line rang out in the silent void, I always come back. The words echoed, bouncing off the moon's gray craters and back into their ears. It was a chilling reminder of Springtrap's relentless pursuit, his uncanny ability to reappear when least expected. In the midst of the confusion, the group's attention was divided. They cast their eyes around, scanning the alien landscape, trying to digest what was happening. And then in the fraction of a moment when their gaze was diverted, Springtrap vanished. One moment he was there, the next he was gone, as if swallowed by the moon's dusty surface. Suddenly, a portal noise sounded behind Foxy. It was a strange alien sound, a whirring, whizzing noise that sent shivers down their animatronic spines. They turned, their eyes wide with shock, just in time to see Foxy being pulled into the swirling vortex of the portal. In the blink of an eye, Foxy was taken by aliens, leaving the rest of the group in shock. The suddenness of it all was disorienting. One moment they were stepping onto the moon, the next, they were in the midst of an alien encounter with one of their own taken. As the portal closed behind Foxy, the group was left standing in the silent lunar landscape, their minds reeling from the sudden turn of events. Bewildered and alone, the remaining group members soon found themselves facing an even greater threat. The abrupt silence was soon replaced by a strange otherworldly hum. The last thing they remembered was the sight of Foxy being taken, and then... darkness. Upon awakening they found themselves bound, each one tightly secured in a bizarre alien spaceship. Their hearts pounded in their chests like frantic drumbeats, the cold fear seeping into their cores. The spaceship was a maze of twisted metal and glowing lights, an eerie testament to its extraterrestrial origins. Strange symbols adorned the walls, their meanings as alien as their captors. The air was filled with a strange, metallic scent, a stinging reminder of their precarious predicament. Suddenly, through the dimly lit spaceship, a familiar but ominous figure emerged. It was Scraptrap, a villainous version of the dreaded Springtrap. His appearance was a harbinger of doom in their dire situation. His eyes held a cruel determination, his posture exuding a troubling promise of treachery. Scraptrap moved with a purpose, his every action calculated and precise. He managed to sneak past the alien guards, his focus solely on the captive group. With each step he took, their fears increased. Could this be another layer to their... Just as Scraptrap was about to reach them, a chilling sound echoed through the spaceship. 
It was Springtrap, his malicious laughter bouncing off the cold metal walls. The sight of him sent shivers down their spines, his presence a stark reminder of the danger they were in. Scraptrap, showing no signs of fear, squared off against Springtrap, ready to do whatever it took to outdo his rival. The tension was palpable, the air crackling with anticipation. The showdown was about to begin. But just as terror seemed to be within reach, Springtrap strangled Scraptrap. The sight was horrifying, the act so brutal that it sent waves of despair washing over the group. Their hopes were shattered, their hearts heavy with the crushing reality of their situation. Their fate was once again hanging in the balance, their future uncertain. As Scraptrap contested with Springtrap, a chance for escape was born. Within the tumult, a glimpse of clarity emerged. Scraptrap, typically a figure of menace, was now the group's only beacon of hope. His metallic grip secured around Springtrap's throat, igniting a fierce battle. Despite being in a stranglehold, Scraptrap called upon his reserves of strength, his resolve glowing brighter than the feeble spaceship lights. His hold intensified, and with an abrupt, surprising maneuver, he sent Springtrap spiraling out of the spaceship's window. The sight of Springtrap, previously a formidable adversary, spiraling into the cosmic abyss, was a spectacle to behold. A collective sigh of relief reverberated through the spaceship but there was no opportunity to bask in this minor triumph. Scraptrap, their improbable savior, directed his focus to the group. His formerly intimidating demeanor now provided a ray of hope. With meticulous precision he loosened the knots that had held them prisoner. Bonnie, Chicks, Freddy, and Foxy found themselves liberated one after the other. Foxy, the tacit observer, was the first to act. The others trailed, their steps tentative but resolute. The escape was a challenge. The spaceship, a labyrinth of foreign technology and ominous silence, proved difficult to traverse. However, under Scraptrap's guidance, they gradually found their path to the exit. The sight of the moon's surface bathed in a mystical glow offered a pleasant contrast to the cold, metallic interior of the spaceship. Their hearts throbbed with adrenaline as they set foot on the alien surface, their footprints symbolizing the commencement of their freedom. But this was not the conclusion. Scraptrap, the unexpected hero, had one final task. As the group moved away the spaceship, he halted. Turning back to face Freddy and the others, he proclaimed, I came here to destroy one person. I thought he would be here. Fred Bear. His eyes were alight with resolve as he ignited the spaceship. It served as a signal of their survival, illuminating the moon's surface and casting elongated shadows that danced in the cosmic quiet. Leaving the extraterrestrials behind, Scraptrap set the spaceship on fire, signaling the conclusion of a horrifying yet memorable journey. Having survived an encounter with aliens and their own fears, the group found themselves back on Earth. Landing with a thud that seemed to echo their collective sigh of relief, they were a world away from the cold alien moon where they'd faced unexpected perils. Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy, once just entertainers, had become astronauts, warriors, survivors. They had stared into the abyss of the unknown and found not only Springtrap's nefarious plot, but also their own resilience. Their adventure had been a crucible, tempering them, reshaping them, revealing strengths they didn't know they possessed. The computer room, the mysterious message, the alien ship, the capture, and the daring escape. Each event was a chapter in their story of bravery and survival. Now, back amidst the familiarity of their world, they bore the marks of their journey, visible only in their changed demeanors. To be continued. In the face of danger, they discovered the strength of unity and friendship, forever changed by their adventure in space. To be continued.